Welcome, my people, to a new video from AI Made Tech Reviews. Today, I am going to talk to you about a small problem that the S24 is giving me here, specifically the normal version, or the small version. I have here the Samsung Galaxy S24 with an Exynos 2400 processor. It is not the Snapdragon version, and I am currently on the latest version of Android 14 with the latest Samsung security patch from the beginning of April, if I am not mistaken. I know that for some regions it was on April 1st, but for me, it was between April 4th or 5th. So what is going on? What's happening is that I'm having a huge problem with overheating and at the same time, unusual battery consumption. Going into context, I use YouTube Premium. I spend all my time on 4G listening to podcasts and with Bluetooth in constant use. On YouTube, I have automatic downloads and I mean that the smartphone downloads everything on Wi-Fi. It saves all my YouTube content in the internal memory of the smartphone, and I play all these contents in the background with the screen off. This is what is happening. My smartphone is overheating enormously, and I have been having this problem for several days. Today is April 12th, but I made a post on my Facebook on April 9th, because exactly between April 6th and 9th was when I realized the problem of battery consumption and overheating, which I was having with the S24 specifically, but we need to match several criteria to notice this and for this to occur. First, having YouTube Premium means that the application runs in the background. This is one way to notice, because when YouTube runs in the background with the screen off, the smartphone does not heat up. Obviously, it gets a little hotter with the screen on, but even with the screen on, I noticed that the heating was much more than normal. Second, the battery consumption between 6 Duhur in the morning and 9 Wuur was 11% battery. But with the heating and excessive use of resources, and after the update, I was experiencing a consumption of 39% to 48% of the battery only in three hours. So in approximately three days, I realized that there was indeed a problem. I went to the Samsung community page and realized that no one had talked about it. So I put a post on Facebook to see if anyone else identified with my problem, but I didn't see anyone commenting on it. I came to think that I had a problem with my smartphone. I searched on Google and found a post on Reddit, where indeed, yes, they were talking about this, and I found it curious, because there was only one person who had commented on it on Reddit, and there were approximately four comments by the time I checked it, this was before yesterday. It turns out that Samsung has not yet commented on this, but it is clearly a problem with the YouTube application. I particularly blame Samsung because I had my application updated to the latest version, which is 19. When my smartphone was updated, suddenly the current version of YouTube starts to cause problems and why do I know that it is the current version of YouTube? Here we have the solution for this problem. The first thing we are going to do is enter settings. And then we go to the application section. We are going to search for YouTube at the end of the list. And here we see that YouTube is installed. It obviously says all the normal YouTube configuration and there is no problem. But we are going to realize that I am on version 19.13.36 of YouTube, which is the version causing warming issues. The idea is to roll back to version 18.27.23. To return to the base version, the version that the Samsung S24 comes with, what I have to do is go to the Play Store. There are people who said that it was solved by clearing the cache, but that doesn't work, at least for this problem. Let's look for YouTube. Here it says installed and open. If I click on the version, it tells me that the last update is from April 3rd, 2024. If I click on these three points up here, we see the menu with automatic updates. We have to deactivate this option. I have it deactivated. The next step is to click uninstall. We have a pop-up screen that says you want to uninstall all the updates of this application from the Android system. Why it doesn't ask me if I want to fully uninstall the app? Because by default, the Samsung smartphone, like almost all Android smartphones, comes with the YouTube application as a system application by default. By accepting on this pop-up window, the updates will be uninstalled. Always remember to check that automatic updates are disabled. For security reasons, most applications are forcibly updated, so this same process must be carried out from time to time until Samsung or YouTube release a new version of the application without compatibility problems. Well, here, we no longer have our old version, our updated version. If I open YouTube, it loads the user and everything will remain more or less as it was, since obviously my YouTube user account is the same as my Android smartphone and it logs in automatically. Now we go back to our version of YouTube in application information. 
we are going to realize that I am now on version 18 by 27 with 33, and this version is not giving me absolutely any problems at the moment. This is the only one solution that I found. It is not my solution. It is a solution that I found on a Reddit page. Thanks to a user named Panatech, this user had quite high battery consumption for YouTube. It shows it here in the following graph, 49% of battery consumed with the screen on. Although it gave me a problem even with YouTube Prime, because it is not that the screen is on that is causing the heating, it is the fact that there is a compatibility problem between the latest Samsung security patch and the latest version of YouTube, which is version 19. If you like the video, give it a like, share if you think it can be useful to someone else, and don't forget to subscribe to one more video from AI Made Tech Reviews. Until next time.